back to another farming simulator video and following on from the video on mowing versus direct disking and the yield difference we saw there the natural question was does it make a difference if you use a forage wagon or a pickup header on a forage harvester so that's the next test we're going to get this little field mown and then i am going to do a similar process i'll reload i'll i'll pick it all up with a, a pickup header and a forage harvester we'll then reload the game and i'll go through pick it all up with a forage wagon and we'll see if there's a difference in yield um so i have had a really good explanation and again i'm sorry i don't have your name handy um the the guy who asked the original question about forage harvesters versus mowers he posted a really good explanation as to why it may be different in fs22 um in the comments on the previous video so if you want to see that go back and have a look it's to do with um mowers being mowers that leave a swath versus forage harvesters which act as a combine so yeah that's really cool um and i was wondering whether that would have an effect with this as well so we've got the the crone uh forage harvester with the pickup header and on the back i've got the lizard forage trailer on a dolly so that i didn't have to worry about um carting and that kind of thing and you know maybe setting up auto drive or whatever um this is obviously something that applies to all platforms so kind of trying to use just stuff that's on mod hub basically i don't have any silage additive added because that can affect both in the same way so don't need to include it because you know if you want to put silage additive in you can but you can put it in both so yeah um, so we're just going to go through pick it all up with the the forage harvester and then we'll go through and pick it all up with the mowers um if you're new if you've just found the channel from videos like this then uh, uh and hit a, if you're enjoying it hit the like button uh, if you've got any comments or questions or suggestions for videos like this then stick them below um, i do reply to pretty much every single comment where i can make a valuable response um, some some comments you can't reply to um, and, and if you are new then think about subscribing you, you'll see more videos like this um, it doesn't cost you anything really helps me out um, makes me understand that people enjoy these videos so yeah do that you'll be awesome uh, at the same time i'm going to say now thank you to the patrons and the youtube channel members who are also awesome people um who support the channel and uh yeah you guys are cool so if you're interested in any of that there's a link below as well um so we're about halfway through ish this job um so when i'm doing this kind of testing there's a balance um between and particularly with making a video there's a balance between how big the field is because the bigger the field on something like this the bigger the yield the bigger the yield the less error when comparing the different ways of doing things um but the testing takes much longer with big fields um so i tend to try and balance that and i think this is a decent size um so annoyingly i hadn't saved the previous field that i had when i did this test so we couldn't do direct comparisons but we're really interested in comparing these two things so that doesn't matter um so i just um i i easy devved the grass into this field i then went and put the board around it again i like doing that although this time i'm only mowing once i like to do that to create a kind of boundary to the test area um it's just how i am and then for this test um i went for quite a big trailer as well uh, which is why i've got a modded trailer on a dolly um because none of the base game dolly trailers which are trailers that will easily hook up to a forage harvester were what i thought was big enough um because i wanted to try and do it in one hit so that's why we've got this trailer i think it holds 60 odd thousand liters so it's decent size um and it's a silage trailer and we're 
kind of picking up grass for silage so yeah um, I will come back and get that little mist bit because I do want to get everything off the field so that we're comparing like for like um, and yeah one of the other things with these kind of questions is and I, I'm I'm gonna go and look up your name while I'm talking um, I would always encourage people to do their own testing it's not difficult you know it takes time but it takes me time it takes everyone time to do this kind of testing it's but it's how you learn about the game it's how you learn about some of the game mechanics and it doesn't cost you anything but time you know um and if you really enjoy the game what's wrong with investing a bit of time in learning to understand it more and it's luke bradbury because Luke went away and did his own testing as well. Um, and the results that he came back with were what inspired me to do the previous video. Um, you know, it's... I obviously enjoy making these videos. They uh, they intrigue me. So we got 53,035 litres with the direct disc. That causes us a slight issue because the biggest forage wagon that's not a crazy modded one um is 50,000 liters so yeah that's which is what we've got on the back of the uh, the John Deere there so um I have brought a second loading wagon so that we can if if things work out we can collect the difference um but yeah I would really recommend that you know, I guess if it doesn't interest you you just want to know the answer and if you just want to know the answer you're gonna have to listen to me ramble away for another six minutes because that's what I do I ramble in videos. If you enjoy the rambling stuff, go check out my Let's Plays as well. It's full of it. Um, but yeah, yeah, if you want to know something, test it. Try it for yourself. Um, it's why I started making tutorials. There were things that I wanted to know that people hadn't made videos on or the videos that they'd made didn't answer the questions that I had. And so how do you find out? You set up a little test and you do it, you know? Um, you'll learn stuff one of the big things that I've learned with farm sim is don't assume um, you know when I set out to test the the mowers versus the forage harvester I assumed they would be the same because why wouldn't they be the same you know you're mowing the same amount of grass they're both bits of kit that are designed to cut grass they're both mowers essentially um, why would the yield be massively different like it is? Um, yeah, there's other things that I've come across with um, with, with uh, animals and Maze Plus and early on in the game, one of my most popular videos, which I've redone because it's changed, um, do cows need straw? Now when Farm Sim released, they didn't depending on what you were trying to do so when farm sim 22 released because there was a bug um all straw did well all straw did it's kind of important straw gave you a i think it was a, a 12 percent increase in milk yield you still if you didn't have straw you still got full health you still got the same amount of manure and slurry the only difference was milk yield and um, that was changed in one of the updates and i redid the video so that people stopped watching the broken one people still watch the one from the past um but the, that then should link them to the new one but um yeah you know so many people when fs22 came out assumed that because we've got seasons light um that it was the same as fs22 uh, or FS19 and so if you wanted manure you gave them straw if you wanted slurry you didn't give them straw and in reality it made no difference um, and if you didn't give them straw you got exactly the same amount of manure so yeah um, the, the lesson or the, the, the point that I'm trying to make with this rambling is test stuff if you're curious if you want to know does this make a difference set up a test and try it you know the number of little test saves i've done to do things um, and if you're on console you can still test it stick the government subsidy sign in to get yourself a bunch of cash work it out you know start doing 
tutorials on console on how to do some of this stuff. It's, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's, uh, it, it's a good thing to learn about how the game works, I think. Anyway, we are now 97% full and we have one swath left. Um, we're going to completely fill this one and then we'll jump in the other tractor with the other loading wagon. So that will mean that we've got 50,000 litres in here. So we're now looking to see if we get the additional 3,053 litres to match the forage harvester. I'll be honest, I didn't have a clue. So I'm, I'm recording the voice for this after the gameplay. Uh, so I do know the answer. But at this point, I did not know whether they were going to be the same or not. Um, I couldn't remember when I was doing it with the forage harvester where I was in filling the trailer up at this point. So uh, we've got the little brewer because I think it's a cool tractor. We've got the uh, one of the small base game forage wagons because in theory we only need about 3,000 litres of space. And we're just going to get this last bit of grass. And so even at this point, I was not sure what we were going to get. And in reality, the answer is that we got 3,042 litres. So there is an 11 litre difference. That is error. Um, that is within the margin of error in the game for how things work. So, yep. The headline used for this one is essentially pick up headers and forage wagons give you the same amount of grass once you've mown it with a mower. I think that's cool because I do quite like sometimes using a pickup header. I've used it a couple of times in some of my let's plays and but I still want maximum grass yield. I don't want to get yet less grass. So yeah, there we are. We have 50,000, 53,000 liters essentially both ways. So if you found this video useful, and I have asked you before, but I'll remind you again, click the like button. It really helps me understand that people enjoy these videos. If you've got comments, questions, suggestions for follow-ups from this, then stick them below. Um, and yeah, I think this is a good result. It's a less interesting than mowers versus forest harvesters, but we needed to do the testing. So that's it for this one. I will see you next time in Farming Simulator.